Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So this is my new series, hopefully, which is going to be helping you improve in multiplayer battles when it comes to Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2. And we're going to start with the Imperial Fleet. So let's jump in and let's get started. Now, as you can see down here, I have all of the Admiral skills unlocked and I have all of the ship skills unlocked as well. Now, when it comes to me personally, I choose the Augur Probe because I like to scan to see what enemy I have straight away, in case it's an enemy that has stealth capabilities, just in case you're going to get somewhere Tyranids who actually don't show up, I can try to get a sense of where they are and scan in that area as well. Now, when it comes to the second ability, it depends for me. Sometimes I like to take the Stasis Bomb, but sometimes I like to take the Plasma Bomb as well. I've been having a bit more success with a Plasma Bomb because I've been doing a bit more damage to the enemy's fleet, so I'm going to recommend in this video take the plasma bomb now when it comes to your air ships actual ship stuff i will always recommend take the shield capacitors this increases the shield regeneration speed by 25 percent it's always good to get your shields up as fast as possible when you play this game because the shields take a brunt of the beating when you start engaging your enemies and go with the improved augur rate for the second upgrade this as you can see here the, ident the identification range of the ship is increased by 4500 units it just gives you that extra little bit of um of, of, of eyes on the battlefield let's say uh, so you can you, you can see the enemy fleet hopefully before they see you and you can start pounding it away with your weapons now if we select the one versus one option down here and then select your fleet I have made a custom fleet called the Emperor's Purge. You can also go in and make whatever fleets you want if you feel like doing. But this is my fleet, what I'm making. So if I go here and I edit the fleet, you can see that my list is made up of Avengers and a couple of escort ships. Now, Avengers are Grand Cruisers. These are the new option that has been added to Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2. And the Avenger is the cheapest option out of the Grand Cruisers at 181 points. So that allows me to put six Grand Cruisers in my list. And if we click on the Grand Cruiser, we look at the weapons, it only has light macro battery weapons, but these weapons are very, very effective. Number of attacks, six, but the reload time is the main thing here. The reload time is nine seconds. So every nine seconds, one of your Avengers is, show, is, is shooting six shots at the enemy now when you add all those guys up those six avengers and let's say for example you're putting two avengers on one target that is a hell of a lot of firepower being directed at the enemy don't forget that is just that is both sides of the ship as well so you, you really need to focus at turning your ship spinning it around make sure you get the full maximum fire support from your vessel right let's jump into game and i'll show you a one versus one against a player and i am playing a fellow imperium faction it really actually looks like we're both like brothers with our mustaches but let's jump in and let's see how this goes okay so here i am in game so what i'm going to do first i'm going to select my escort ships i'm going to line them up to the points i'm going to put them on running silent so they can't be detected so the enemy doesn't really know where they are i'm going to put another one over here just like this i'm going to put him on running silent they're going to go forward they're going to capture those two points there just to give us a little bit of a point capture um i'm going to put this guy right at the front of my fleet because this guy is basically going to be a kind of a suicide guy he's got to go in and he's got to spot the enemy for me now since you've got so many ships the best thing you want to do is you want to spread them out a little bit You've got six ships all together. So that gives you a nice little option to spread your ships out so they all can't be detected at once. You want to, uh, some nice kind of spacing on here as well. If I just space them out just a little bit more, just like that, that's okay. Right, now what I tend to do as well is to select all my ships and put them on the range of 12. So just like that. And when I once I, once I get like halfway to the enemy, that's when I'll start doing the lock-on stance once I've actually reached um a, a certain point and a certain area where i feel confident that i can start really getting locked onto the enemy so let's click ready and let's do it away we go so as we can see it looks like we've got one two three four five ships so what i'm going to do now your orders i'm going to put two of my ships 
onto each one of his ships. Just for now. Just until, just to move these guys forward. I'm going to start moving this guy down. Put this guy Engaging into engines. this area. This guy into this area here. Now, my Admiral does have some special abilities. We wait your and I'm going to click on that special ability. And that is the Augur Probe. So if I click on the Augur Probe right here. And now I can scan, hopefully, his ships down there. And get a reading of what kind of ship he has got. So let's hope this this plays out well. We're slowly moving down towards the enemy now. This ship, ship like I said, is basically going to try and go into the heart of his fleet and um, knock. Well, give me a. I'm, I'm going to do this. This command scanner. It marks enemy ships within thirteen thousand units. That way, I can see what he's got, where he is. As you can see over here, he's already taking points at the moment. So he's doing the same tactic I'm doing, running silent, taking the ship. So he has got some escort ships. So I'll have to be careful that he's not also not doing the same tactic as me and coming forward as well. But you can see, like, the most, it looks like most of his ships are over here. If we can focus, if we, if we, can, fo if we can focus you have seized a strategic this area. side, let's say. And put the just ultimate firepower on him. That's what we can do. Ship ready. I'm gonna send this ship down here the now to take this spot. Area. There we go. Something's just been marked. So he's got a enemy scout ship. Sighted. So he's got a scout ship there, and he has got what is what is this? Uh, Grand Cruiser Exit. So he has got some Grand Cruisers you have as well. Seized a strategic area. So we're going to targeting in enemy vessel. Gauge. That so I know what's over there now, so I'm gonna send my scout ship over to this direction. Your orders. I actually want to focus all my firepower on one side of his on, on his force. Oh, there we go. We he's actually just um, give himself away by launching them torpedoes a bit. So now I know he's got one of the um, big big ships. So I actually may ship focus ready. most of my stuff over here now because I know there's a big ship over there, right? I'm going to scan. I'm going to get a bit forward now. Ah, he's actually just giving himself away anyway. But Enemy sighted. I can do that. There we go. He's trying to trap me here Aye, now. Admiral. Lock on target. He's got a Nova Cannon as well, Aye, it Admiral. seems. I'm going to try and focus on his admiral ship right there. So if I take his engines down, that's what I want to plan to do. So I've got four ships going in for that. Target locked in. Your orders? Hopefully now once these guys start hitting, we start seeing some stuff. I've just suited well, but it just blew up. There we go. So here comes the the macro batteries now. You can see it on the shields, like how 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 effective it is. If we all start pounding these now, these guys are not in range yet. Look at look at all the firepower this is pulling down. Engaging I'm actually going to focus right this 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 air close one right here. We wait your command. Aye, Admiral. I'm gonna swing these guys around. Might Engaging. as well bring them around over here. Your orders. Maximum burn. There we go. We just discovered another ship Target right here. We wait your command. This is actually not a good thing that's happened. I've just, I've just escaped from my main fleet. You want you want to keep your shit together as much as you can. So I'm just going to get this guy out over here. I'm just, I just want to boost away from that ship. Now, as you can see, I've got most of my ships in one area now. We serve. Cruising speed set. You can see all the damage I'm putting down. Engaging target. On this, on just just these ships. Ship ready. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Targeting enemy vessel. We wait your command. I'm gonna move this little ship over here. See, my scout ships. I'm still taking stuff. 
I'm using my scout ships to still take stuff in the background. Aye, Admiral. Keeping all my ships together still. The last thing I want is to is to spread them out. Target locked in. I'm actually just gonna try and get a little bit closer. Engaging engines. You get these guys going a little bit closer as one. Get them go together. We're gonna boost them forward. I've got the plasma bomb. I haven't Launch used it yet. Burn. There we go. We're gonna go forward and we're gonna try and catch up to that fleet. Course engaged. Keep them right there. Just like that. Your orders. Plasma bomb right you there, right on him. He's probably going to boost out of it. But if not... For the Emperor. There we go. We can start swinging around now. That plasma bomb just took down a couple of his shields. And we can start doing broadsides back onto the ships again right now. We've caught up to him. The there we go. All the broadsides. We're, we're trying to take down this ship. This Nova Cannon ship is doing a lot of damage to us. Gonna try and do Enemy ship some lightning strikes on him. We serve. Let's focus um, our cruisers over here. We've got to keep that engines destroyed on that. That's good, right? The engines is destroyed. That is very, very good. We wait your command. Gotta try and get Underway. this guy back with um, our stuff. Swing back around. Target locked in. Ship ready. The enemy has seized it's a got strategic torpedoes area. coming in, so we're going to try and just escape those torpedoes. There goes his weapon destroyed. Target now we've got to focus this Grand Cruiser. Now we've got to focus the Grand Cruiser. We've got to put the plasma bomb down on the Grand Cruiser. We're still focusing. All those macro batteries are going in on it. Look at them all. Boom, 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 boom. Engines destroyed. Right. We've got another engine destroyed. It's always good that you click and you focus on destroying stuff. Generators or engines are some of the main things to take out. Generators or engines. We wait your command. Give this guy a little thing. Brace for impact. Brace for We're getting impact. a bit close now, so just in case we get a couple of damage on us. Lightning strikes, Enemy one, two. Scrippled by, strike. by the lightning strike. Nice formation of grand cruisers. We're all going in. We're all shooting. There we go. He's grouping his guys up, so no matter what happens, we've got to start hitting. I'm going to put another plasma bomb down right here. His engines is destroyed, so we can't maneuver or anything like that. He's actually sending another one of his ships into the plasma bomb as well, so this may be a, a twofer. We serve. Enemy ship crippled by the lightning strike. There we go. Aye, Admiral. He's about to lose his um, his admiral ship now. This is what I mean by focus fire. Focus fire. Generator destroyed on that one. That's good. There goes his admiral ship. We'll switch that around. We'll put these two on this guy now as well. And we'll start some boarding stuff on here. Borders have caused internal damage. There we go. Another ship down. That is down. This guy just rammed me. I'll take that. It's okay. He can ram me all he wants. We'll do this. Right. Start getting my scout ships back over here. Get my scout ship back over there. It's now to start focusing on points now. His, his ships are going down. Lock on target. Start doing lock on again. Get all these guys to lock on. There's a little bit of a range. Engaging. There we go. Ship ready. I'm gonna start focusing the these guys towards the points now. So we can get the points and we can blitz the points. It's as easy as that. Deck destroyed. This guy's gone. It's all about superior numbers and superior firepower. There we go. Game over. He conceded. GG. Good game. And that is the Avenger uh, tactic. Um, if you've got any questions or anything like that, 
Um, a, a, little, a little bit hairy at the start, um, but all in all, um, it was a decently um, good battle, good game. Uh, woof, um, thank you for the game. All right, chaps, if you enjoyed that and you want me to do more of those videos, um, please let me know in the comment section, and I'll do my best to try and do other fleets. At the moment, I'm more or less focusing on Imperium, um, uh, Necrons have a pretty uh, cheesy tactic at the moment, which I think is going to be fixed. Um, but there, but there are some other tier fleets. Orcs, I'm really enjoying the orc fleets as well. Um, but let me know if you if you enjoyed this and you want me to do more, um, and I can do more. So thank you for watching and bye bye.